Let's see the recent maritime accidents. Off the coast of Newfoundland, a Spanish trawler sunk. The Spanish trawler sunk on the morning of February 15 around 255 nautical miles east of Newfoundland's easternmost shore, according to reports. There are 24 crew members on board, including 16 Spaniards, 5 Peruvians, and at least 3 Guineans. The ship did not send out a distress signal, and those who were able to escape boarded life rafts. Martha A., a container ship, slams into the berth, causing a massive stern break. Martha is a container ship. A collision with birth occurred in Morocco while birthing. It is believed that the disaster occurred on February 14 in Casablanca, however the date has not been confirmed. It was Tug's fault, according to eyewitnesses. The ship's transom was breached. She landed in Casablanca from Hamburg on February 14. The Bordeaux Mavi, a Singaporean bulk carrier, had 10 of its crew members poisoned by an unknown toxin in Russia. The Spanish trawler reportedly, sank in the morning February 15 some 255 nanometers E of the easternmost coast of Newfoundland. 24 crew on board, comprising 16 Spaniards, 5 Peruvians, and at least 3 Guineans. No distress signal from ship was sent, those who managed to leave got onto life rafts. Helga Ingstad, the owner of the tanker that collided with the Norwegian frigate, has settled for $27 million. Twit Nav Limited and the Norwegian government have reached an agreement worth $27 million in compensation for the loss of the Norwegian warship KNM Helga Ingstad in a collision with one of its oil tankers. When the projected repair expenses reached to almost three times the ship's worth, the ship was deemed a complete loss. Felicity Ace, a mole truck carrier, is on fire and abandoned in the Atlantic. The Portuguese Navy has a vessel on standby to monitor the Felicity Ace's progress. All 22 crew members were rescued and flown to Fial Island by helicopter. The AIS system has been activated, and the Portuguese Navy patrol ship NRP Setubal is approaching the drifting vehicle carrier. The Felicity Ace was transporting vehicle units from Germany to the United States. The fire started at about 37 degrees north latitude. As of 1450 up on February 16, the ship's AIS was still active, indicating that it was a damaged ship drifting in an easterly direction. Viking Sea, a vehicle transporter, is in close proximity to a Dutch coastline road. In Noordjaeconnel, I'm in Netherlands, Viking Sea lost control. Strong winds blew the ship off track, causing it to run aground. She was hauled off the embankment and started sailing 15 to 20 minutes later. Wet Van Eyck, a cargo ship, lost containers in the English Channel. In the Western English Channel, the Wet Van Eyck lost four containers overboard. The ship had to stabilize containers following the mishap, which was thought to be caused by bad weather. During a surveillance aircraft north of Ushant on February 17, two floating containers were discovered. Ming Yangzhou 179, a Chinese cargo, capsized in the Yellow Sea, rescuing 12 crew members. While on way from Shanghai to Tianjin, the general cargo vessel Ming Yangzhou 179 acquired a significant list and eventually sank on February 17 in the Yellow Sea, some 24 nautical miles east of Weihai, China. SAR helicopter and ship rescued 12 crew members. The ship's condition is unclear as of 0415 UK February 18, according to the most recent AIS transmission from 2000 UK February 17. Waves shattered the windscreen of the Tollerort Elbe ferry in Germany, the ferry across the Elbe. From Tufelsbruck to the Airbus manufacturing ferry port, Tollerort was on line 68. The waves slammed at the ship again and again. Dirk Papendorf, an Airbus employee, sat in the front row to have a better view of the event. He was grateful for the ferry's existence and felt fully secure at all times. Two people are stuck on board the Italian boat Euroferry Olympia, while 11 more are missing. Major fire broke out on board ferry Euroferry Olympia early in the morning February 18, near Corfo Island, Ionian Sea. 239 passengers and 51 crew were on board from Igumenica, Greece to Brindisi, Italy. Full-scale rescue and salvage operation underway.